Dear friends, it's Pradam Mukherjee for Study Revolution Group. Today, I'm going to show you the e energy equals mass um, formula that we know that E equals to mc square. So, let's get started. First, we are taking or assuming a box in any space. It's a box of length L and is the center of mass. Suppose there is a photon inside it. It's traveling towards this. And we know that Newton's third law, every action has its opposite and equal reaction. This box is also traveling in this side. So afterwards, it will look like the box. The photon travel to this position so the length will be L minus change in distance center of mass and this is the ch change in distance and this is the original origin position so it is moved from this position to this position so we know that a photon does not have any mass but it has velocity so scientists have proved the momentum which is assuming as p momentum of photon is equal to e by c and momentum of box which is this one is equal to m v now we also know that velocity equals to delta a or change in distance by change in time which gives us change in time equals to change in distance by velocity we know that the velocity is now c or speed of light as photon travels at speed of light and the distance is l minus delta a so right It is the formula of t, so we will place it here. So, velocity equals to delta x into c by delta t. Delta t, sorry. It will be l minus delta x. This is one formula which would be helpful for us now as this phenomenon is known as conservation of momentum we know that the momentum of photon is equals to momentum of the box so we know that velocity of box into the actual mass which is mass of box minus mass of photon is equals to that mass of sorry energy by C that is the momentum of photon so it with the rate of velocity will replace this one is mass of box minus mass of photon into delta x C by L minus delta x equals to e by c this is an important formula i assume it is equation one now the box changed its position but without any external force so the center of mass didn't move but the box did so the mass displacement displacement of the box has to be equals to the that the mass displacement of the photon so the mass of the box into the displacement it covered is equals to mass of photon the displacement which it covered that is l minus delta x so 
mass of box minus mass of photon into delta x by l minus delta x equals to mass of photon or simply you can write mass therefore you can write this equation in equation 2 this is equation 1 so you can simply see that this equation fits in this equation except c or worse and then we'll put the value of m in place of this so we'll get m into c equals to e by c which clearly can gives e equals to mc thus proved this is a really short proof of e equal to mc squared and you can say it's the most is the easiest one thank you everyone it's Pridham Mukherjee from Study Revolution Group have a nice day.